Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a blog to your website. So here I am logged into my website and over here I'm going to click on create new page. I've got a lot of options here but in this video we're going to focus on the announcements option and I'm going to call this page Mr. Lynn's blog and I'll go ahead and put it at the top level. Alright, so now we have this page created and notice this button new post because we said this was an announcement style page the site knows to include this button so I want to start posting now I'll click new post and if you've edited around a little bit already this is just a regular web page style where you have the title in the top box and then the body down here so I'll call this my first blog post I'm done so I'll click save watch how this information my first blog post has title and then the text watch how that's displayed on the page after um, it goes back to a web view so title Notice there's also a timestamp here posted a minute ago by, in this case, me, and uh, the text. Up above, you have a link back to the blog page. So here you see it on the blog page view. Let's do another post. And now if we go back to the page, see how it's stacking them? So I had my first post, and then I had another post, and it came in and started to move down. And I'll, if I post a third post, it'll continue to um, put the newest post on the top, and as you scroll down, you see post, posts getting old. that. Okay, so now we have this blog over off in its own page, but I want to show people when they just come to the first page of my web page what's going on in the blogs. So let's go back to the main page, which right now is pretty empty and I don't know, a little bit boring. So we're going to edit this page. now we've got some more buttons. We're going to insert and then go all the way down. We're going to insert a gadget called Recent Posts. And look, it, it already has gone through every, all the pages in the site and picked out only the announcements pages. Remember when we created that page we said this is going to be an announcements page. So the only announcement page on my site is Mr. Lin's blog. So we see it here, and if it had, if I had many of them, and you can, by the way, you can have as many as you want, you could just pick out the one in the list that you wanted, but for now, this is all I've got. So the title I'm going to change uh, to recent posts. Now, I'm still in edit view, and I can tell because it says save, cancel, and I see these um, editing and format tools up above. And that's why right now this is just kind of a yellow blob with this little, um, like a cartoon talking balloon, just to, to sort of signify the placeholder of this announcement block. When I save it, however, it switches into this view where it's pulling those posts from the blog page and showing them here on the front. And I can link, so let's click there, it's going to link to that post on the blog page. Like that. What's nice is, just to show you real quick, um, whoa. A 
about that. I, uh, yeah. My point was not to show you that I'm an unconfident, well, yes, probably incompetent, but not confident speller when I'm spelling in front of the world here. Uh, my, my point was to show you that uh, it automatically is updated on the front page. So if, if, if this is making sense, I could be blogging and it's showing up on another screen and it's going to make it uh, very easy for visitors to my site to see what I'm doing in kind of a digest form. So uh, I, I hope this is helpful for you um, and that you experiment with it. That's, that's the, the main thing. Just play with it. You could have a different blog for every class or, or pretty much anything that you can think of. Thanks for watching.